Again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard in December 2019 as the sun is fading. I've mixed up myself a bottle that I know is white pearl from Anita's, or white metallic rather. I have containers that I will shovel out or scoop out paint from, including a dustpan, and I'm going to add paint to them right now, hopefully. And I want to use up some other paint that I have here. I'm going to start with some white pearl everywhere. I'm going to try and use up some paint colors that have been hanging around for a while. Oh, that came right off. Cool. Oh, and we don't want that because that is a huge glop of paint. Well, goodbye glop. See ya. <laughs> I'll try and make the rest of that work out okay. So my space is on level, so if you're seeing that uh, things look a little odd, that's probably why. I am going to try and use some black, in spite of the fact that I have a black 18 by 24 inch canvas. It's a gallery wrapped one. It has been ready and waiting for a while to go. I'm looking for slightly different colors than I usually use. And I'm a little excited to do this. It's been a very long time since I gave myself the pleasure of doing exactly this. I'm going to try and go a little bit outside my comfort zone with stuff like that forest green. I want to make sure to put some gold in there wherever seems to be the right idea. And I love this turquoise color shift from Folk Art. I definitely want some orange, but I'd like it to be a fairly bright orange. I'm trying to pick colors that I know will go together in some way or another. I don't I have very little of this left and I want to use it come out. Yeah, I want to use that everywhere. I'm definitely going to use that up today. And I think that truer words were never spoken. I'll just tip that down and hopefully I'll get another couple drops out of there. Oops. That's not what I thought it was going to be. So that's a little bit of Anita's black. I'm going to throw some copper in here, just because I can. And I don't know, is that going to shake up and come out? Yeah. That's my neon purple from Folk Art that I adore. And I am kind of floating it on the surface. I kind of lost that. Um, that was an Arteza neon pink, but um, it's from a while ago. I really want, I really, really want some neon, excuse me, <laughs> some magenta. And what else do I want to put in there? I really want some blue. I mean, it's basically going to be all the colors of the rainbow, so why not? And the blue metallic I usually love don't know how this is going to work. I am going to be putting a whole bunch of that white metallic from Anita's back in there. Just making up, whoops, just making up containers. That's strange how that separates and doesn't shake back in as quick. It's okay. It makes it interesting for sure. What else? What else? I haven't used any Bahama blue for a while and this one doesn't have metallic in it. So I think I'll go ahead and take up the one I know does have some metallic in it. Let's see if I can actually get it to come out. Come out, come out, come out. They're not coming out. And I have a bamboo screw! Whoop! <laughs> Almost dropped it. Okay, I lied. I did drop it. That was the shovel. Fortunately, there was no paint in it. I want some of this blue, and so I'm going to grab it right out of the top. Right there, and right there, and right there. And that really just makes me want to put, yes, I'm taking all kinds of time setting up my colors, and I'm going to have to fix that blue. I'll put that over to the side so hopefully I'll remember. I haven't used any Prussian blue, which I always love, because it sells and it's dramatic, especially when I don't want to use black necessarily, and I already used some. This is the new Masterminds 
and I like to put the masterminds together with some of that orange. I don't have any yellow in there. I think I'm going to give myself permission if I can have it open. Yeah, I'm going to use the skewer. And then I'm going to drop those strange colors in, making sure this is ah, open. I'm not going to waste my colors, hopefully. It's a large enough canvas. Why don't I do that right now? And over here. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to let one drain into the other, and if I get some more, I'll use it. In the meantime, do I want some more gold? I kind of do, but I'm loving this mastermind. Excuse me, is it? <laughs> this mastermind's orange. I'm going to throw some more of that pink back in there and hope that I have a few more drops of this because that was awesome. Can you come down? Yes, yes, yes. All right, I'm still getting some out of that. It's time to put the Anitas back in there. Just going to squeeze some of that right underneath and let some cells be created. And put some bottles out of my way. Ooh, I found a color shift. And it's not open, so whatever. Okay. I want some of that right now. Okay, time to move a few things out of the way and do this. I don't think I'm going to be tilting, but um, at least not with an edge catcher, but we'll see. And hopefully this will turn out to be something worth seeing, because I've already used the first 10 minutes. Holy! So I need a little more space than I've got to rotate this canvas. So I'm going to take this dustpan and put it over here without and that bottle of paint <laughs> somewhere else also. And bring over my 18 by 24 inch canvas, which doesn't have a stretcher bar on the back, so I have to can't. Well, no, maybe not. It'll just fit on there. Cool. All right, so what I'm going to do to begin with is look at my colors and think that maybe I want to use my dustpan. So I'm going to drop some more color right on the beginning and wish that that bottle were open and know that I have another one very similar. So I'm going to drop some of that white in there. And I didn't lose any paint. It's a little different for a start, but that's okay. I'll use my space behind me. And I'm going to grab an edge catcher, hopefully a clean one. I'll put it down on my tile. So I have something to attempt to dump things onto and let that paint go right over that edge. And that's working pretty well. That's excellent. All right. So there's our start. Where's my shovel? There's my shovel. I'm going to grab. This is a, this strange box is something a cable came in. I am doing quite a bit of tilting, but not onto an edge catcher particularly, although I have one handy. I'm going to try and grab some more interesting colors, of which there seem to be quite a few. It's one of my favorite strange flower forms. And then I'll usually add some dots. Because my canvas is dry, I can wipe up that one that wasn't going my way. Move a few things out of my way still. Because <laughs> there's all kinds of them in the way. I'm going to grab some of this
So far so good. Not sure what's going on at all, but that's okay. I've got color over my sides. And I'm going to dip dip and dab. I hope that that's okay. And then I'm going to take a nice big scoop, scoop of whatever appeals to me. And ribbon dribble some stuff before choosing to allow some flowing to happen. Bringing my edge catcher back. Well, I think I'm going to take the paint that's on it off. Put it down right over there and put that. Oh. This could be a stage one. <laughs> be that I might want to do something a little different. I can put chain in there or blow. Let's see if I can find my straw. Oh, I got plenty of straws. So I can take a little paint in my shovel and let it go right over that side if I want to, and I do. And then I'm looking at what I've got, and I don't know that you can see all of that, but I've got some beautiful orange color right here. And I want more! <laughs> So far it's a little strange, but it's been a while since I've done this, and uh, I'm not giving up now. I just want to change things up a little bit. And if I can think on my feet fast enough, I can also, um, you know, use a bamboo skewer or something. I've got a stripe of paint to go down over the side of the canvas. Here comes the rain again. I got some layered layered looking things going on. I got a short skewer. I'm just going to dip into that paint. That's not the skewer for that job. I got to find a different one. So I'm just going to keep using the colors that I have. In my container for my shovel. And I kind of want to dip skewer in there and see if I can get some of them to come out. That's not really what I had in mind, but it's good to go with the flow, if you know what I mean. So I can use my pan of colors. To just lead right up and out. That may or may not work. So I could really leave this just like it is, actually, with all that negative space. 
but I've got some stuff going on that I like over here. This isn't really much like my typical, but it's pretty cool just the same. So as long as the puddle of paint is thick, I'm just leading, leading new paint. I'm going to steal some too. And I, do, I don't put any silicone in my paint and um, I can leave it heavy like this because I use GAC 800 by Golden and that's meant to prevent cracking from happening. I'm just going to link that right up there. I'm really thinking that this, that that night might want, mm, I want that out of my way. I want everything that's in my way out of my way. Come on, out of my way, please, without dumping any shovels off. So I've used a lot of my paint. And um, what I'm thinking is that there are things that I would like to have in there that I can add. That I think will, that will work that aren't going to come straight out of some other place, like the shovel. So that's not making me feel too bad. I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I need to tell you, which is um, shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you. It helps me out. Thank you very much. I appreciate it like you wouldn't believe. My book is finally published. My volume two, Unlimited Possibilities, is on the Amazon link below. Show more underneath the video. And uh, list number one. That has a very drippy lid, but you know what? I kind of like that drip. Right there. I'm sure I'm going to run out of time, so I want to tell you guys, if you share my videos, you help me out. If you watch my videos longer, you help me out. I sell my artwork. If you buy a painting, you help me out. If you buy a painting or you donate to the studio $10, uh, you can find PayPal or Patreon to do that donation, and you can find on the end screens, you can find this month's prizes for the drawing that happens the, uh, the beginning of the third week in December. I'm really liking a lot of things about this. And adding embellishments, whoops, <laughs> that are working out so far. That's pretty cool. I might have to work on this a while longer. Good thing I wanted a dot there, huh? <laughs> anyway, so I love you guys. There's almost 85,000 of you, and uh, I hope you keep watching. I post to the community board the night before the video, and also on the Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, which is for students. And Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors is for fans and collectors. Yes, I will learn to live with the, the drops. So I'm not, I'm thinking that negative space needs to stay there. And uh, I might change my mind, but I'm not sure I will. And I don't know if you guys can see all of that or not. But I'm going to add a big dot up there. I'm not sure what I haven't told you guys, but I've got a minute left. And I'm going to check my crib sheet if it's even here. Um, I said I sell my artwork. There are playlists uh, 1 through 11 of genre on my channel if you look under creative playlists. The clothing under the video is from Teespring, but it's my clothing and I did the designs. And I would, if you are interested in all over print t shirts or some leggings, I've got some kicking leggings. Just totally kicking. Recommend going shopping there. If you go to Expression to Start Studio Gallery, um, excuse me, Expression to Start Studio Totes and More on Facebook, you're going to find my fineartamericapixels.com shop now button, which is a cool place to go, even if you don't do anything more than check it out. Um, I stopped reading, <laughs> and I'm still painting. And so I really think that this is going to look a lot like this when you get back, but you can't trust me, so don't, uh, don't quote me on that. That was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for joining me. There's almost 85,000 of you. I hope you enjoyed that half as much as I did.